<laughs> but anyways, all right. This is the big one that you guys have been waiting for. Um, are you guys ready for some Porter Robinson? TKC Owl City Time. You won't like Porter. Hey, people are saying I won't like the Porter. I'm heading into it with about as open of a mind as I can possibly head into it. Um, Porter generally just tends to not be my thing, but he has like Porter's got two tens from me. I've only got like 20 or so songs that I would consider a 10. Porter's got two of them. Um, so yeah, I assume it's part of an upcoming album, but yeah, let's get into it. The moment you guys have been waiting for, I feel like Porter's almost even bigger than a seven lions, Elenium type collaboration. So Let's hop into it. Then we got blank. Okay. Already more production on this song than like the entirety of Nurture. Just a very sort of like fun, um, more like pop driven, but it's still got that EDM sort of production element to it. Yeah, this vocal's really fucking good, dude. <laughs> Production's like not even entirely my thing in the world, but it's just like the vocals selling it so much. Yeah, <laughs> it's really good, bro. Stripping the elements like that. Do I wish her the best or do I actually miss her? She had hearts in her eyes. Love that, just the acoustic guitar. Very sudden ending. Um, wow, damn. I can't help but say I'm a little surprised 
Um, I know a lot of people were saying it's like a Rocky style thing and that a lot of people were thinking that I was going to hate it. Dude, that's honestly really good, man. I can't even lie. That's really well done. Um, I think just like the main critique for me is that there are moments in like the main chorus type thing where the sound can get a little noisy. So I kind of wish that that was just toned down just a little bit. But in terms of that, dude, musicality, absolutely on point, man. Really fun, infectious, engaging. Um, and yeah, really, really well done vocal. I think that the best part of that for me was that sort of stripping of the elements, just the acoustic. Um, yeah, really well done overall. I think I'd probably give that like, <laughs> should we give another gross rating? 8.85 out of 10. I think I'll give it an 8.85 out of 10. That's so disgusting. I want to, I should honestly delete that. I should honestly. I'm giving it an 8.85 out of 10. It's, it's just if 8.85 feels right, bro. 8.85 just feels right, dude. That's just where I'm sitting, man. Give it a nine. I don't think it. I don't think it's a nine. I don't think it's a nine. 8.9. 8.9's odd though, man. 8.9 is even worse, I think, than an 8.85. At least 8.85, like I'm going up in increments of 0.15. Amazing from chat. Yeah. Honestly, it's really close to that. Um, I think for. A lot of people, I think a lot of people probably would have expected my rating to be a lot lower, but dude, the vocal man, that vocal sells it, bro. There's not much, there's no other way around it. That vocal just sells it, dude. Um, so yeah, cool stuff. I think that's the big thing for me that I kind of missed from Nurture um, was that I wanted, I couldn't help but listen to that album and still really listen to that album. Even nowadays, it's still my main critique is that it needs more production. The big thing for me is I want more from the production from nurture. It's, it feels like there's not enough going on in the production that cheerleader feels like a great blend um, of being that sort of, it, it feels a little bit more infectious. Like, I guess it still brings that emotion, but not, but it's got the production to complement it as well. So, um, yeah, honestly, really great stuff. Definitely encouraged. I think if he's got another album coming soon, great start. Um, a lot stronger than potentially Nurture started off for me. So could potentially be his best album. Who knows? But loving the direction so far. Um I just hope in terms of, I know it has that sort of more pop punky type sound. I hope it doesn't get any more obnoxiously pop punk than that track. I think that was about as much as I'm willing to tolerate before I have to drop the rating a little bit. It was just the musicality and the, the vocal was so good that I was willing to let it slide. But in terms of that sort of pop punky style sound, I think that's about as much as I'm willing to tolerate. <laughs> so, but yeah, like I said, um, solid start to an album, um, and definitely prefer that a lot more than Get Your Wish for sure. I remember hearing Get Your Wish and kind of being a little disappointed with the direction that I thought Nurture was going to head. Um, and so that's a lot stronger of a start for me. So 